I'm gonna start this by saying it's probably the weirdest repair video I've ever made. It all started late one night when I went to go wash the dishes and listen to the story of our friend Vin. Instead of the soothing voice of Michael Kramer, all I heard was rattling in the speaker. And that's because it was full of grapes. So today, I'm gonna try to fix it. Let's go. Now the first thing I thought when I saw this was how did the grapes get in there? I could see that there was tiny fingerprints all over the clear plastic, so I decided to confront who I thought may have done this. Did you put grapes in the speaker? That head shake was a very good defense, but I decided to ask him again. Did you put grapes in the speaker? I did. It was about right here when he made that face that I thought I was going to get a full confession. Instead, this is what he had to say. Baby dinosaurs. I then got a stare down and decided it was time to go back to getting the grapes out of our speaker project. To get started, I first needed to turn off my speaker, unplug it, then take it to my workbench. Unfortunately, before I got up there, I knew I had a problem because Harman Card makes a great speaker and they seal it down very tightly and it makes it very hard to get it open. On the back are auxiliary and micro USB ports as well as a power adapter, but there were no screws to open it up. I'd like to quickly mention the power adapter is very lightweight and only uses 19 volts, so it's very handy to travel around. I couldn't find any other ports to take off the top sound tube, so I looked underneath. But there was only this large subwoofer, which makes the bass sound fantastic, I'd like to add. Because this speaker tube is sealed so tightly, I probably couldn't take it apart without breaking it. So I tried shaking the grapes to see if I could get them to fall out the tube. That failed, so I tried lining them up on the top, then quickly flip it over to have it fall out. After about five minutes, I decided that this wasn't going to work. My next idea was to use something that could reach in far enough and get the grapes individually. So I came up with the idea of using chopsticks. I reached in, but because of the dome-shaped bass speaker, I could not grab the grapes. This didn't work and it was very frustrating because it was so close. I then tried slowly leaning the speaker over to see if I could catch the grapes falling on the chopsticks. After many attempts, that didn't work either and I abandoned the idea. Out of ideas and not wanting to break the speaker, I checked the outside one more time to see if there were any levers or screws that would allow it to come apart. But there was nothing. This thing is very well built. But then I finally came up with the idea of using a fly swatter. Not the rubber end, but the rounded handle side. So I grabbed a pair of pliers and thought I could bend the handle enough that I would be able to pick up a grape like a swing or a shovel. I had to make sure the width of the handle was wide enough for the grape to stay on but not fall through. I decided to curve it so I could get over the rounded subwoofer speaker and avoid the same problem I was having with the chopsticks. I placed it inside and it was able to get over the subwoofer speaker. With a lot of patience I tried for several minutes and was finally able to snag a grape. Whenever I get it over the speaker and try to lift it out, it would just fall off. I finally realized instead of pulling the grapes up, I could tilt the speaker sideways and slide them out. But this was much easier said than done. It was very difficult to keep them on the homemade shovel without them falling off when I tilted it. After several attempts, I finally got one over the rounded subwoofer, but the top of the grape hit the wall of the tube and it fell down. I was so close so I decided to give it a few more tries and finally grabbed one that fit the shovel nearly perfect. I was very careful not to hit the lid of the tube and this time it did not fall when I tilted the speaker. So very carefully and slowly, I was able to pull the grape out. And we got it. You can see this quick montage where I was able to pull the rest of them out and it took a lot of time. With all the grapes out, let's plug it back in and make sure everything's working. To pair it up, just hit the power button and the Bluetooth sensor. Once it's detected on your phone, hit the button to pair it up and you're good to go. And now let's test to make sure it's working. He didn't seem to be avoiding her. However, he also didn't seem to be making much of an effort to spend time with her. Vin was beginning to realize why Kelsier had warned her to avoid catching the attention of anyone too important. Everything sounds great, so that's a win. This was a pretty unusual repair, but if you want to learn to fix other electronics, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.